Nigerians break down imminent as Southern and Middle Belt leaders give five conditions for one Nigeria. Leaders of Southern Nigeria and Middle Belt under the ages of Nigeria Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination, NINAS, yesterday set modalities to extricate their people from what they described as contraption called Nigeria. At a World Press Conference, at New Bodija Ibadan, Oyo State, Chairman of NINAS, Professor Banji Akintoye, and other leaders of the group comprised of indigenous nations and people of Southern and Middle Belt of Nigeria complained of injustice in the country and contradictions in the polity and the 1999 Constitution. The press conference was organized at the expiration of a 90-day notice of grave constitutional grievances issued by NINAS to the federal government on December 16, 2020. Other leaders of the group who participated in the event include Tony Nandi, Secretary, Professor Mayowa Ogene Degbe, and Chief Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igboho. Akintoye said, as the distressed Federation of Nigeria continues to wobble through what seems its terminal throws. It will be recorded that Ninas aggregating the indigenous nations and peoples of the southern and middle belt of Nigeria who have found themselves at the receiving end of a most vicious ethnic cleansing onslaught by heavily armed invading Fulani militias masquerading as headsmen formally declared a dispute with the Federation of Nigeria as represented by the Federal Government of Nigeria via the Constitutional Force Major Proclamation of December 16, 2020, in which it made a five-point demand upon the Federal Government of Nigeria to formally commence the remediation of the grave constitutional grievances enumerated in the said proclamation within a period of 90 days beginning from midnight of December 16, 2020. The full text of the December 16, Proclamation was published on a detail as an advertoria in the January 20, 2021 edition of the Guardian on pages 38, 39, 40, and 41. Hard copies of the proclamation were also dispatched to the President of Nigeria, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, President of the Senate, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Nigeria Governors Forum, Conference of Speakers of State Assemblies, United Nations, UN, European Union, EU, and AU missions in Nigeria, ambassadors of United States, China, Russia, France, Germany, Belgium, and Japan to Nigeria, High Commissioners of the United Kingdom and Australia to Nigeria, ECOWAS, Secretariat, and other stakeholders' institutions. We report to you now that the expiration of the 90-day notice by the midnight of March 16, 2021, no formal contact was made with NINAS by the Federal Government of Nigeria, and so we are gathered here today, March 17, 2021, to inform our people as well as the international community what our next steps will be in our resolve to extricate ourselves from the deep trap and bondage unitary Nigeria has become for our various peoples. In refusing to step forward to the table of dialogue and the characteristic arrogant disposition of the federal government of nigeria we call on your attention to several nil jack past work and bad faith option the federal government of nigeria chose to pursue in the desperation to once again evade the sovereignty question it had been evading since 1967 instead of embracing the comprehensive framework tabled by NINAS via the December 16, 2020 proclamation. Akintoye said NINAS interpreted the attempt to railroad the resolution of the grave constitutional grievances to the National Assembly as a clear evasion of the fundamental sovereignty question relating to the deep distortions in our unity agreement, which must now be engaged by the constituent components of Nigeria whose sovereignties are currently hijacked and confiscated by the Nigerian state via the fraudulent 1999 constitution. According to Akinto Ye, this interpretation stems from the fact that the National Assembly, which itself is a product of that constitution, 
had a few months ago acknowledged that it had no constitution making powers as the powers vest exclusively in the constituent component nationalities of Nigeria as an incident of their sovereignty. Nena said it will amount to treason for the National Assembly or the executive arm of government to continue to usurp the sovereignty of the people of Nigeria confiscated by the fraudulent 1999 constitution which is already repudiated and rejected by the people of Nigeria especially in the alliance territories as represented by Nenas. The Nenas chairman said, In the invocation of our long-suppressed collective sovereignties, we hereby proclaim a constitutional force majority effective from midnight of 16th of December 2020 with a 90-day notice to the government of the Federation of Nigeria, Security Council of the United Nations, the government of the United States of America, European Union, as well as the international community of the intention of the people of the Alliance territories to reconsider our continued allegiance to the disputed 1999 constitution, as well as the unitary union of death, attrition, and backwardness it foist on us. Nenas therefore demanded, one, that the federal government should formally announce and acknowledge the constitutional grievances and sovereignty dispute declared by the people of the South and Middle Belt. Two, a formal commitment by the federal government to wholesale decommissioning and jettisoning of the 1999 constitution as the basis of the Federation of Nigeria, as was done by the government of the apartheid era South Africa in 1990 to commence the process by which the apartheid constitution of the then South Africa was eased out. Thirdly, a formal announcement by the federal government suspending further general elections under the disputed 1999 constitution since winners of such elections will swear to and govern by the constitution. Four, a formal invitation to the people of the south and middle belt of Nigeria to work out and in place a transitionary authority which shall specify the modalities for the transitioning process including the composition and mandate of the institutional authority as well as the time frame for the transitioning and other ancillary matters. Lastly, a formal initiation of a time-bound transitioning process to midwife the emergence of a fresh constitutional protocols by two-stage process in which the constituent regional blocks will, at the first stage, distill and ratify their various constitutions by referendums and Plebiscite and in the second stage negotiate the terms of federating afresh as may be detected by the outcome of the referendum and plebiscite. Akintoye declared, By this proclamation, let it be known to all, including international money lenders, that Nigeria is now a disputed project, and that while the constituent comp components commit to honoring existing international debt obligation, we caution that whatever obligation that may arise from any foreign loan contracted by the federal government of Nigeria from the date of this proclamation may not come into controversy. Similarly, all loans contracted by the federal government containing any clause that may cede the sovereignty of Nigeria or any part thereof in the event of repayment, the fault shall be disputed as illicit and in breach of the sovereignty of the federating units. We also invite politicians from the Alliance territories and all political parties operating the alliance territories to take notice that the 1999 constitution by which the winner of any national election in Nigeria will swear and govern is the very object of the sovereignty dispute we have just proclaimed, with a demand that the further national elections premised upon that repudiated constitution be deferred forthwith for the purpose of first reworking the damaged constitutional basis of Nigeria. While setting out the modalities for transition, Akintoye said, for the avoidance of doubt, the Nenas proclamation of constitutional dispute on December 16, 2020, terminated the life of the fraudulent 1999 Constitution of Nigeria and therefore restored our sovereignty that was confiscated by that Constitution. What we are doing today is to outline the processes and modalities for the necessary and orderly transition to our full self-determination and sovereignty in the world first question to ask ourselves is how did we get here how did we even get here 
can see very well that Nigerians breakdown is imminent as um, these southern and middle bed leaders have, have given this demand to President Mohamed Buhari. Anyway, guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, click on that bell. Press the notification bell till it turns great. God bless you. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.